Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to the weekend. It is the Earth Master on this end. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. February 24th, 2024. A whole bunch of 24s here right now. Uh, about 12.01 p.m. here, California time. Latest activity looks like a 1.2 there across uh, Northern California. We'll check out earthquake activity here in a little bit. Uh, still looking at this massive sunspot region here. Uh, 3590, which has been the culprit of three X flares, including one very strong X flare, uh, the um, strongest one of this solar cycle, X 6.3 from 3590. A couple days ago now, and since then we've seen, uh, well, we've seen a handful of uh, M flares peeking out from that sunspot area. Uh, as well so we're continuing to watch in that there's still an elevated threat of x flare probability here with 30 percent chance and of course we've got m flare and c flare activity popping uh pretty much daily out here here's a recent goes x-ray flux chart showing the solar flare intensity there is the x 6.3 uh we have seen some obviously higher in the past but this is the strongest one of this solar cycle so far uh, but again, we're still looking at a uh, decent chance of seeing some further X-flare activity from 3590. Here's the latest magnetogram image, which shows the complexity of this ginormous sunspot. It is huge, and it is definitely looking at us right now. Uh, it's directly lined up uh, with the Earth. So if anything were to blast off from here, uh, almost certainly, 100% certainly, uh, be in uh, geo-effective far as the uh, coronal mass ejection if if it takes place we really haven't seen any over the past uh you know couple flares there that we've seen from 3590 there has not been any cme event associated with any of those flares so um potentially here today tomorrow we'll have to watch that again this is directly facing us still showing qu quite a bit of complexity here uh within this center core area uh so those are the ones you gotta watch that uh, will produce some uh, decent solar weather activity and it's a cme that will provide us with auroras should it happen right now we do have a coronal hole facing us number zero uh, looks like zero one here uh, it had been facing us for the past couple days we're just going to get the uh, a little solar wind stream flowing in here that could enhance the three day on the 25th uh, doesn't look like much just could see a little bit of elevated aurora conditions there across the higher latitudes really not expecting too much there uh, from this coronal hole it's not a big deal but uh, still watching 3590 that is a big deal and we'll continue to keep an eye on it as it is continuing to watch us all right let's see what we got here for earthquake activity did see a little bit of movement here in the last couple hours uh, kicking up here across the south america region um, 4.6 coming into the ecuador area up here around the uh, ecuador trench pretty shallow earthquake back prior to the subduction zone level itself so might be uh, looking at some potentially larger movement taking place here across that area uh, also some activity stretching up into the west coast a look at the earthquake 3d program here does show a recent five pointer across the tonga region usgs not picking up on that yet uh, new zealand seen a a handful of deeper quakes there at the southern end of the Hikarangi subduction zone. Now, I know we've been seeing a little bit of activity out there. Let's go check that out real quick from the GeoNet servers and see what we got for the New Zealand area. We're going to go all magnitudes here. And some of that deeper activity, uh, again, underneath the uh, North Island region. Um, this is a Kermadec Trench up there, 359 kilometers deep into that area. Uh, there's definitely been some, you know, a handful of uh, deeper quakes here across the area of North Island. And uh, it looks like today noted on the Earthquake 3D program, uh, some deeper quakes striking at the southern end here of the Hikurangi. Uh, again, which sits right offshore of the um, New Zealand area, right about uh, here, north end, south end, right about down here. So keep an eye on it. Definitely seen some deeper movement quakes this area. Uh, this subduction zone very capable of producing some mega quakes and it's been a little while right since we've seen anything mega out here many generations past uh, still seeing uh, quiet conditions out here across the papua new guinea vanuatu area and the solomon islands all quiet today a lot of older rings here on the globe 
Uh, that's indicative there of, uh, well, older movement from uh, basically yesterday. If we look at the map here, we got uh, one, two, three, four earthquakes here just from today uh, out here in this region. All others from yesterday. So a little bit quiet uh, for now. The latest one shows a 4.9 down here uh, outside Manila in the Philippines into the Philippine Trench, 85 kilometers deep for that four pointer. And uh, some of that movement here from yesterday up along the Japan area. All right, looking at the uh, states over here across the West Coast. Well, a lot of this activity from yesterday as well, including these earthquakes here across the Northern California region. Uh, aside from, from that, newer activity looks like it's limited here across the area. Uh, a little bit around the Long Valley Super Volcano. Got one little earthquake here, uh, 1.6 near Tom's Place. I was out there a couple years back observing the the uh, caldera out there and it's uh it's crazy there's a lot of openness out there a lot of dirt roads it was interesting uh um visiting that area but uh driving through a super volcano caldera well that's no different than being up in yellowstone right but uh it, one wouldn't notice it one wouldn't know about it uh, unless you had knowledge of it being a super volcano it just looks like any other um, desert out here so a little bit of activity up here, uh, some along the coastline, also a little bit in Southern California, but generally looking at decent um, normal activity that we see on any given day. So no heightened movement currently taking place here across the West Coast for now. Uh, up into the Idaho area, a handful of smaller quakes. Uh, most of these look like they're from yesterday. I don't see anything out here from today. Uh, let's give a quick glance here at the Yellowstone seismograph stations here and uh see if we got anything going on out here doesn't well i see a handful of earthquakes here looks like it showed up uh, across the park mainly centered over uh, potentially mary lake or maybe the borehole area either way about two or three earthquakes showed up pretty nicely i think this was from last night handful of smaller quakes as well but the usgs normally doesn't pick up on it unless it's above a 2.5 uh, they'll get to the smaller quake activity on Monday morning um, if they feel like they should. Uh, but a lot of times on the weekends, even if we got intense earthquake swarms, we won't see it up here because they have that computer system here set to only show 2.5 and above uh, here across this area. So none of those earthquakes are above 2.5. Uh, Texas still seeing some activity out there, but the rest of the state's fairly quiet. And uh, Hawaii out here in the Pacific not a whole lot going on here nine earthquakes it's very minimal a look at the most recent statement here uh, on kilauea volcano we'll double check that and see what we got um by the way cascades uh sierra nevada the west coast volcanoes all quiet yellowstone included not a whole lot going on uh, in terms of volcanic activity uh, in regards to the big island hawaii and kilauea volcano um Things seem a little slow out here recently. Uh, we just not a whole lot of earthquake activity, not a whole lot of uh, tilt meter going on as far as inflation. Uh, there's a handful uh, of smaller quakes here, but uh, is this going to let me? It's not going to let me see it. So, for whatever reason, I think it's this uh, browser program I'm using. But looking at the tilt meter here, we're still fairly uh, steady and uh, not a whole lot going on. If we look at the last 30 days of. Uh, tilt across this area i do have it bookmarked just in case i come across incidents like this here's the last 30 days of the inflation or deflation event that happened there across the uh, kilauea summit region I've seen a, a massive amount of displacement of magma from the summit off to the southwest rift zone that's that huge drop since then we just kind of kind of just uh seen these little periods of somewhat inflated events but nothing like what we had seen before so we'll continue to watch that uh, but for the most part uh, you know just just kind of waiting not a whole lot of earthquake activity out there yet uh, far as the Iceland activity let's go up there and see if anything else is going on here since last night uh, a little bit more earthquakes I would say about 58 earthquakes there in the last 12 hours and a lot of it here across the Grindavik region so let's see what's going on out there uh, the Savart Singhi area. I know we've been seeing some uh, further inflation going on here. Here's the vertical displacement up, uh, showing that increasing movement. Um, let me check here, make sure we don't have anything going on 
uh, a cool site to monitor is called livefromiceland.is. This shows you a general overview of the area. Uh, Grindavik out here. And uh, it looks like these are some of the older um, lava fields out here. But uh, they're definitely seeing um, some earthquake activity ramping up here in the last uh, 12 hours. And it is up here across this area where we expect to see further eruptive fissure activity take place. So we'll have to watch that. I don't think it's happening right now. Um, when it does happen, we'll see probably a couple hundred earthquakes or so in a very short amount of time. But it does look a little bit more elevated today. So we'll continue to watch that uh, across the area. And um, let me check out the uh, eight-hour runtime here for the Grindavik area of Iceland. This is a uh, you know similar to what I just showed you guys, the Svartsingi area. Although we're going to check the Grindavik inflation chart, which is right here, and it still shows that we're going, you know, still kind of going up here uh, across the area. Just a matter of time, I suppose, uh, before we see another eruption in this area. All right, Storm Prediction Center, getting closer to day four, day five outlook here. Again, we'll cover that uh, probably early next week. Uh, looking at maybe a severe weather potential there across those uh, those days. As far as today goes in severe weather department, not a whole lot going on there. Just thunderstorm activity maybe across the North and uh, South Carolina area. Aside from that, things look fairly quiet across the board for severe weather. Uh, we do have another system knocking on the west, uh, west coast door as we head into early next week. Not really expecting much. There's some, uh, some rainfall coming in, but mostly snow and colder weather coming in. It looks like maybe around the uh, first or second day into March, we'll see a little bit more precipitation coming in with that system. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's changed a lot. This has changed a lot since last night. Uh, either way, this could spell some severe weather trouble out here as we head into the first week of March. Those type of setups here with these deep, low-pressure jets, cold air. Oh yeah, that could definitely be some severe weather as we head into the first week of March. We'll check that out though as we get a little bit closer. All right, seismograph stations out here look fairly quiet. Not a whole lot going on as far as the current seismogram data. We'll catch you guys back out here later. Enjoy your Friday or Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed your Friday. It is Saturday, uh, so we still got uh, still got a good chunk of the weekend left. I'm gonna get outside here and uh, do a little bit more yard work. It's supposed to be about 70 out here today. Uh, actually, I have 70 on my weather station right now, so that is pretty decent. We got clear skies out here. Let me make sure this is the most recent uh, across the West Coast. There's a little low pressure system, unfortunately. Not going to do much. It has potential, but there's not a whole lot of setups here uh, for it to really do anything. Uh, but far as temperature goes, goodness. Uh, let's get out of here and go to the temperature. Not as warm as Texas, but we are noticing a little bit of a... Uh, this has 62 here outside of Chico, but I got 70 out here. It's, it feels a little bit warmer than 62. So uh, maybe this hasn't updated yet. But either way, as we head into the uh, afternoon a little bit, it'll definitely get a little bit warmer out here perfect day to do some yard work i think all right folks have yourself a good day we'll catch you guys back here tonight saturday night up update should be coming out see if i can't get missy mimi's to jump on board have a good one i'll catch you guys later peace out